Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and today we're talking about the camera that I use professionally. For once, I'm shooting on a different camera just so that I can show this camera here, but it's part of the same line, and it's actually the previous generation of the one that I have. And the reason why I'm talking about this is that Canon is killing this line, unfortunately. Maybe they'll come back with something, or maybe there will be third-party manufacturers to actually go back and make more lenses, but I think this is almost as perfect a camera as it is right now. I don't see any need to improve my gear to let's say the R10 or the R7 that just came out. Now that goes on the RF mount and that is the cropped censored versions of like the R5 and the R6. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be 4K, it's going to be not as good quality, it's not going to be full frame like the other cameras are. But um, this is kind of gonna be that one thing that kind of unifies the mounting system. So I think it's RF, and I think it's RFM, RFM? I hope that's right, because this is the EFM mounting system. And this is what I would say the perfect camera and my perfect setup that we have here. Um, let me just show you, this is the M6 Mark II. This is the body. What we're shooting on is the M6 original, which shoots in 1080p. This is 4K. Um, it does have that limit that nobody likes, the 29 minutes and 99 seconds, 4, 59 seconds. Um, the new R7 and R10, they don't have that limit anymore, thankfully. But hey, th this is the camera that I choose to use. And it's this lens and this camera, which is a great combination, because as of right now, you can't get this type of combination for the RF or even that smaller RF crop sensored um, setup. I'm losing words right now, I'm sorry guys. And what this is, this is a, oh, it's even right here, so that makes it easy for you guys to see. That is what it is. This is a 16 millimeter, Sigma camera lens and it's an f 1.4 so it's super super shallow and even if we just kind of take a look here oh wait I forgot I'm using the battery in here can't really look but if you shoot myself on this you get nice wide not just me but you do get a lot of that blurred out in the background uh, the stability on this is really good um, the lens does not have any optical image stabilization, the body does not, but the digital image stabilization does really well. And this being kind of a heavier body, it really kind of helps itself. If it's something like a very lightweight camera, like this M100, you know, it needs that stabilization to do kind of anything. But for this, and also, yeah, even on your phone, it needs a lot of image stabilization because it's a very lightweight phone. It can also go like this really easily. With this one, it's pretty heavy. You can't go like this as easily. So I love having a heavier camera, but as you can see here, it's not a gigantic body. And how I use this is this fits on a clip, a spider clip that just hooks in like this. It can fit perfectly and I have this with me at all times. If I don't want to use such a large lens, I'll use the lens that I'm using right here. This is an f2, 22 millimeter, and it is a tiny little pancake lens. Think of something like this that just works really, really well. And again, the lenses don't have image stabilization, but this does have really good digital image stabilization, and I think it does a really great job. Right now, we have it turned off on the M6 just because we don't need it. It's stuck there. It's just standing there. But for this, this is what I choose to use in 2022. Um, if you saw my video on the iPhone 14 and me not upgrading, this has been a year where I've kind of stayed with the products that I've had, the ones that work. And until this breaks, maybe one of another camera breaks or my iPhone breaks, I'm not really gonna be upgrading. And <clears throat> this may just be like a not as exciting video as a new product would be, but I'd say that this is pretty exciting because you can find these at a discount. You can find these either new at a discount or beginning to be used at a discount. If you go to someplace like B&H Photo or your local little camera shop, you can find these at a great discount. And even if you don't go for this one at the get-go, 
this is I believe an $800 camera without the lens, you can still go for something like the M100. You can find even the kit lens, the what the 15 to 45 has image stabilization built in the lens so you can kind of work with that. You don't get the background blur that this, even this one would have with this lens combination, but there are things that you can do to make things work where if you're doing photography or you're doing video, you can keep your setup to a tiny little setup. And again, as of right now, I really don't see any extremely minimal uh, professional or semi-professional setup from Canon right now with the current RFM line of crop censored cameras or even of course the full ones. Of course they're smaller than the DSLRs that came before, but I have always been one to get the smallest camera possible. When we were getting the um, larger cameras, what did I get? Was it the Rebel 2? Something? It was that it was that smaller version of a DSLR camera, and I had that. Now that feels big as we kind of go around, but that was a great camera to have. But for now, this, I think, I believe it weighs less. It's a smaller body than what I had there, and it does more. I think this is my top choice for a Canon crop censored camera if you really care about having a small setup. Something you can carry with you, maybe just carry multiple batteries, and you should be fine. I'm very happy with this setup. And especially because I do everything on the go, I can just take the SD card, put it right there in the iPhone, and just edit either video or photos, and I am all set. But again, if you don't wanna go for the $800 camera, you can go for this one. I believe the entire setup with the lens is $400. Used, because they don't make this one anymore. The original M6, if all you need is 1080p, and the body does have image stabilization where this body does not. Um, yeah, I believe you can get that one for about 500. So much less, about half the price of the current fare. And if you know anything about YouTube, a lot of people are watching these videos in 1080p, even though I shoot basically everything except for this video in 4K and I still upload in 4K. But really there's not much of a difference because what you're looking for is the bitrate and how clear things are. And for me, I just get decent lighting on myself. This just looks better than, you know, an iPhone would. At least in my opinion, I believe these do look better than iPhones at not as much of a cost. Actually, yeah, not as much. But hey, there's always going to be convenience with having something like this. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions about the EFM line uh, from Canon, either lenses, cameras, anything, uh, just put it in the comment section below. Don't forget on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, these are tiny body cameras that can do a lot. Are you looking at the camera? Yeah, you are. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.